Guys, so even in this COVID era, I would like to <laughs> teach something about you know life draining event which we found in CBR mission as well. It's not in Fire Edge Five T, which is air this section. But today I'm gonna talk about the area that's actually cannot see very well, which is here. See, so this is super sternal touch. We are gonna scan here today uh, into you know here. So this is the area. Normally, what we would see is actually you know this area, which is ascending area, descending area, or triple A, which is pretty easy. But today we're gonna scan here. So. Uh, first, in um, CAT scan, what you would see is actually, uh, this is Andrew Salfers, you would see something like this. This looks like a little bit of dragon. <laughs> and then um, you will see a flap here. This is true lumen where the blood is passing. And this is false lumen where, you know, hematoma. So we would look for, first is, you know, a partial fill aorta. And the second one is actually, we look for flap. So let's take a look on how you could do this. Uh, it's pretty simple. So I'll put a banana here just to simplify, you know, the simplify the heart and aorta. So you will look here. This is apex and this is aorta. You would like to actually you know, put the probe here to look here. So there will be three steps to, to do this. So the first one is you put a probe perpendicular to skin. You look for something, you scan slide, you know, right and left to see something like this, like um, two circle. We are looking for carotid and jugular vein. See, there you go. So when you see these two things, it means that if you tilt, you probably see where the carotid artery actually drain into aorta. So slide and then tilt here, I tilt the probe, see? Tilt until you find something that's actually quite large, see? So there you go. This is aorta. Uh, you see partially of aortic arc. The third step, look at my probe now. This is very important steps. You need to rotate. So look at my probe now. I'm rotating. See? There you go. So this is a pretty important step. See? The axis of the probe is like this. And look at the underside. It looks like a dragon with three, um, <laughs> three, three tail now. Right? There you go. So again, uh, I'm going to repeat the three steps. So the first thing is actually uh, you scan, right? Oh, hold on. You scan and you look, you tilt, tilt for something, you know, a little bit large. This is the second step. The third step is actually rotate and then look here, right? So hold on. I'm rotating, rotating. There you go. See? And then, so this is your endpoint probe. It should look like this, right? This is a very important uh, proposition. It looks like this. Not, not like this. This is wrong. This is right. There you go. So the next one is anatomy. So you're probably going to see this dragon here. You see carotid artery. You see left subclavian. If you can't remember, it's C and S. Uh, carotid would be upper, subclavian would be lower, and then you would see a round pulmonary artery, right? So let's take a look uh, at the abnormal aortic dissection. So here you see a dragon. This is actually a flap. This is actually from our patient. Uh, that is CPR. There you go. So hold on. See, so this is what I would like to emphasize that sometimes it's not in 5H, 5T, but it's cause of death of the patient as well. So here, this is flap and this is uh, our ARD guard. This is another one from uh, TE or toe, you know, uh, it depends on how you uh, choose to call a name by US or UK. So you can see here, this routing here is actually aorta and then you can see a flap here this black area is actually pura fusion or hemothorax so there you go uh hopefully you guys would know how to do under cell with um super notch bill and hopefully you will rescue more patient thank you very much